Okay, this is a TDR setup using your oscilloscope. I'm using a Tektronix PG506 calibration generator that's been modified so that you can select either AC or DC. So there's no probe um, calibration feature on this. So 100 volts running to a pulser. This is a um, linear technology um, publication they put out, AN47. Very simple drawing. What you see in the pulser is actually just the bottom half of this schematic. It's very, very simple. And it gives me a fast rise pulse. That is, in fact, better than 350 picoseconds, although you can't see it on my TDS 1002B because it can only do about 87 megahertz bandwidth. So we have a pulse that goes down the wire around. It's according to the footage marker it's 110 for 112 feet of wire and we see we get a spike and if we short the two wires together at the far end instead of there being an open condition there'll be a short which is useful when you're checking wire to figure out why it isn't working for you and the distance between the two points is if I can get this thing there we are the distance is 326 nanoseconds or roughly in this case say three nanoseconds a foot. Um, this is twisted pair wire. Each pair, all four pairs, has actually a different twist rate, so you'll get a difference in your length of wire depending on which pair you're looking at. Um, and we could probably, not set up for it, but we could probably hack this wire somewhere in note. Let's see. No the difference. Let's see some more cut it. Hopefully that thing will move at the far end. And it did, it's a little bit shorter. And if we go the cursor to bring it back, it would appear that we've cut the length by about 12 nanoseconds. Is that right? 12? Look at my little cheat sheet. To I can't find where I wrote it down. 326, I thought. So anyway, let's see. Let's get to our footages. It looks like we took maybe five feet. So anyhow, TDR, very easy to do in your own home. Or wherever you could probably if this was a four channel or two channel in this case you could do two pair or four pair at one time if the proper splitter should handle it very simple circuit to build very easy to use with the um, TDS 1002B and if we one last thing we can look at the if I remember to bring it onto the screen this right in the middle we can look at my pulse uh, it's as close as we get into it it's actually quite a bit faster rise time than what you can see there because of the bandwidth issue anyhow hope you learned something here goodbye